Okay. Ooh, it's 54, 54 on my camera. That's how much time I have left. Crazy. Okay. So, um, this reading is going to be for Pisces. This is your twin flame, twin soul reading for August. Um, I recorded all of them two days ago and they all got deleted. So that's how my Mercury retrograde is going. Also, um, I just recorded almost all of Aquarius's reading without my light on this light right here. So just so you know, that's the energy I'm working with, but we still plowing through it. We do what we do. All right. So bunny here with you. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. We are going to do things a little bit different. So I have my rider weights. I'm going to pull two cards for your person's, for your energy. My bad. Two cards for your person's energy. A advice card from spirits. Then we're going to do messages of love from your person by the message of love oracle deck. Then we're going to pull a numerology card for you. And then we're going to pull a getting into the vortex. It was just one, one, one on my freaking phone. I feel like that's very auspicious energy. Like something is going down for you Pisces. Let's dive into it. Anyways, um, for those of you who have been following me for a minute, you know, I love Abraham, Esther and Jerry Hicks. And so I bought this getting into the vortex relationship advice deck and I love it. I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, Jerry has transitioned and so he is no longer on the earth plane with us, but his messages and his energy still follows us so lovingly around. And, you know, so um, <clears throat> there's that. <clears throat> um, let's dive in. Oh, I need to sound cleanse. One sec. <laughs> I just went crazy with my bell. All right. Pisces. What is up for Pisces? Let's do two cards for their energy. Two cards for their person's energy in this connection. And a final advice card from Spirit. I am going to be taking only the cards which fly out. Therefore, you know definitely it's your energy. Whoa, there's your two cards. And it's so funny. I just had a sneak peek. And I swear it's the energy of the last read. It's so funny. The energy has not shifted. Um, and I leave the cards face down until I flip them. Therefore, you know my peeking at the cards or anything like that is not influencing the reading. You know what I mean? This is definitely your energy, your person's energy. All right, let's go. Pisces person, their energy. As far as this, where they're at in this twin flame connection. Your person does not want to divulge their energy. There we go. All right, advice and spirit for Pisces, please. Ooh, that came out quick. All right. <clears throat> Just so you know, we've been getting a lot of reversals for a lot of signs. Don't be um, don't be surprised. It's Mercury retrograde. That's what happens. Everyone is in karmic cycles right now. You know, everyone's healing from something, someone. Okay, your energy. <laughs> like I said, it's the same energy from the last read. They got deleted on accident. We have nine of wands. Um you are absolutely exhausted by this connection. You're like, I want to be done, <laughs> but you don't want to be done. All right. The next card that came out is the eight of cups. So in, if it's upright, it's you're saying goodbye. You're done to, with this connection, but it's in reverse. So even though you're tired as hell, my beautiful Pisces, huge energetic hug, you are still plowing on. You're like, I'm not going to give up on this damn twin flame journey. It feels so crappy, but I'm going to keep going. And I don't know why I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to keep going because you know why you're going to keep going? Because you don't give up. Because you're Pisces, because you're water sign, because you are fierce, because you are driven, because you, you've you never let anything stop you in the past. Why the hell would you right now? Pisces are the most driven, ambitious people I know in the whole damn zodiac. Y'all are freaking crazy. <laughs> In the best way, I swear to God. My boss at the crystal shop, dude, she's a Pisces. And she is so ambitious and driven. I mean, she is the most ambitious and driven person I've ever met in my life. Can I just say that? And so, yes, I am very, very familiar with Pisces energy and how y'all just don't stop. Even when you're like dragging butt, like you, 
two hours of sleep. Pisces up and like plowing through the day, irritated, but still going, right? Y'all don't give up. And I love that about you guys. You guys are so fierce. Oh. You don't let nothing get in your way. It's beautiful. All right, let's go into your person's energy. So we have temperance and knight of pentacles. Ooh wee. So, okay, your person is, is they're in the same energy. It's, it's very similar. Um, they're not tired. They're not as tired as you are, but they are, they're alchemizing a lot right now. They're turning a lot of negative stuff into positive. Um, so it's sort of their gift. They, they're, they're very, very patient. Temperance is patience. You could be, your person could be a Sagittarius. I'm not saying that they are, but there's a fire sign energy, which is, you know, temperance is Sagittarius energy. So I'm not trying to tell you what sign your person is. I'm just saying it'll resonate with someone. It might resonate with, it might not resonate with all of you, but for some of you, it might be of importance. So I always say the energy that's, you know, coming out. Um, we have Knight of Pentacles. So slow and steady progress. Your person is feeling very patient and they're, they're using a lot of grace for themselves right now. They are also... Um, they're making slow and steady movement in the 3D. So financial wise, they're focused on their finances. They're focused on things in the 3D. Um, they're trying to build something financially for themselves. And I really like that energy because it shows that they're committed to this connection, right? They're doing that because they don't want you to have to work so hard, Pisces. They want to eventually be able to somehow combine what it is that you guys have, finances, um, energy, emotions, so that you don't feel this way all of the time. Bless their freaking hearts. I love it. All right, let's go into the advice from spirits. Ace of Wands. Oh, my God. So the advice from spirit is go. Give me the green light. Give me just one night. I'm ready to go right now. They're ready to go right now. Your person is ready to go. Are you? I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I feel like you're so tired, Pisces. You're like, mm, I just need a break. Your person is ready to go. So the Ace of Wands is the energy of like, there's a hair somewhere driving me crazy. The Ace of Wands is the energy of like forward movement. Um, it's a lot of, you know, I'm going to spell because my son's in your S-E-X, you know, energy. Um, but you know, it's, it's physical attraction. Um, it's also new beginnings and fresh starts. And I see that the movement where it was like slow and steady sort of patience and all of that and you know you're feeling really run down this you're feeling you know really <laughs> run down by this connection but you're still going which is so beautiful because you're not giving up on this connection and neither are they and you know once your person feels like the energy is ripe it's go time like the message from spirit is both of you Mom, go like right you have the green light I love you too, buddy. So the message from Spirit is, you know, you don't have to be patient. Like Mom. whenever you are both feeling ready to claim your union, it's, it's, hey, hey, hold on one second. It's going to go rather quickly. Okay. You have the blessings. Um, You have the green light from Spirit. Hold on one second. Okay. So we are going to move on to the messages from your person. And then we're going to do the numerology deck and the getting into the vortex. Advice from beautiful Abraham and his team of geniuses. Pisces person. What does Pisces, what do they, what is, blah, 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 blah. what does Pisces person want them to know? Holy Mercury shizzle storm. All right. Um. What does Pisces person want them to know? 
What the heck is happening? They don't want you to know anything. Whoa, okay, I take it back. Excuse me, sir. Ah, <laughs> they just got mad. Did you see how the cards just flew out? They're like, I have a lot to say. <laughs> Escape and holding back. Um, flipped over but didn't come out, so we're not going to. All right, first card. Unworthy. You're a better person than I am. Oh, man. So your person is is feeling a little bit of um, unworthiness. They are working on their self-love. Maybe that's why they haven't came forward right away. They just don't feel worthy of the beautiful Pisces energy. I don't blame them. Pisces is pretty great. <laughs> I don't blame them. But we're all worthy. We are. We're all worthy. They're saying that they feel like you're a better person than they are. But, you know, you guys are mirrors. So that is just an illusion that they're facing, right? In reality, you guys are each other's mirrors. So they are just as worthy as you are, right? It's an illusion that they're experiencing. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. See, they're saying, you know, I just didn't feel worthy of you. And I really, really wanted to come and claim you. But I just felt not worthy of you. I, I didn't act. I really wanted to call you. Look, there's a phone. I really wanted to call you. They were sitting on the beach, right? They're on a beach vacation. They're like, I really should call Pisces. They're looking at the water and they're like, water. Water makes me think of Pisces because my Pisces is a water sign. And they wanted to reach out and they did it. Because they were like, Pisces is, Pisces is not going to like me. Right? Is, that's what happened. <laughs> Down to a T. I see it in my brain. My third eye is burning. All right. So final card. Oh, my stars in the sky, Pisces. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Let me say that one more time just so you understand. We will always come back to each other. We will always come back to each other. We will always come back to each other. It's reunion. If it's not here yet, it's coming. Focus on what you want to happen, not on what is not here. Do the things that make you happy. Do the things that make you happy. Do the things that make you happy and watch. Just do it for five days. For Christ's sake, five days. And see what changes. Watch how it changes everything. I love you because the whole universe conspired to help me find you and we will always come back together. Right? That's from the book, The Alchemist. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get a numerology card for you. Wow. So you and Aquarius, reunion. It's coming for both of you. I can feel it in my bones. My bones are twitching. That's a good sign. <laughs> that means your person's on the way, Pisces. Don't screw it up, please. Focus on only the positive. Don't focus on what, oh, he's not here. They're, she's not here, but they're not around. They don't like me. Pisces is... They're too good and blah, blah, blah. No, we're only focusing on holding your person's hand, touching your person's butt, kissing your person's face. That's it. We're not focusing on anything else. All right. What's up? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 27. Spiritual partnership. It's like I know what the hell I'm doing or something. I mean, it's like there's a horn here and I'm going to toot it because it's my horn and I toot my own horn because I'm so good and I channel the energy so well and I know what the hell I'm doing and source speaks directly through my damn mouth like bleh, everything. Look, spiritual partnership. Number 27, spiritual partnership is union. It's reunion. It's union. U-N-I-O-N. -I Did I spell that right? Yes. It's number nine, which is nine is the number of wishes granted. Boom. Mic drop. No words need to be said. Spiritual partnership. You're coming into union with your twin flame. Just know that what's meant for you, you can't screw it up. The energy's right for it. 
Okay, if it doesn't happen, don't come back and say you hate me because that means something happened to direct the course of energy away from you. But as of right now, things are moving swiftly towards union. I said it. All right, final card for Pisces from the Getting Into the Vortex card. You know, like energy is fluid right now. This is what spirit is saying. You know what I'm saying? As long as you stay in a high vibration, it's a given. It's already happened. In another timeline, you and your twin flame are having espresso together, sucking each other's toes. I'm just saying. Ay, you Dios mío. All right. Um, billions of us are living in perfect diversity. The diversity of your planet is of tremendous value and benefit because from variety springs all new ideas and expansion. Without the diversity, there would be complacency and endedness. You are billions of people living the perfect diversity just as you knew you would constantly asking for improvement and thereby setting up for the next generation that improved life experience. If you understood that and no longer clamored for the one right way to live, things would go better for you sooner. See? So focusing on what you want and set up what you don't want is going to be the way to make this happen way faster. So for example, you're not focusing on the fact that your twin flame hasn't called you in six years, right? <laughs> you're focusing on the feeling of being loved. So for example, you're watching movies on love and romance. Not to go, oh God, this movie's so sad. Nobody's ever loved me like that. No, you watch it so you can go, ooh. Ooh, that's juicy. I like that. Mm, I like that one. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I like that feeling. I like that scene where they were kissing. That's nice. I'm going to be loved like that. Mm -hmm. And you focus on that and the feeling of how it gives you the butterflies and the goodness and the goodness. And we're focusing on the goodness, the goodness. And from that goodness comes the juicy, good feelings, right? Which in turn brings you closer to the vibration of what you want, which is union, which is love. Okay, so I hope this helped. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscriptions. If you want to book a reading with me, Pisces, please, the description box, check it out. It's got all of the information so you can book your reading with me. It's going to be in the milkshake section. All right, I got to go. I love you. Bye.